Are you ready to delve into one of the biggest mysteries of ancient history? Today we're talking about the Trojan War. And let me tell you, this war was no joke. It was like the original Avengers Endgame, but with more swords and fewer Infinity Stones. What the heck was the Trojan War? Well, as the legend goes, it all started with a guy named Paris. Now, Paris was kind of a playboy. He was the Prince of Troy and he had a reputation for being a ladies man. So when he was asked to judge a beauty contest between three goddesses, he was all over it like a rash. The three goddesses were Hera, Athena, and Aphrodite, and they were all trying to win the golden apple that was promised to the fairest of them all. So, naturally, they all tried to bribe Paris into picking them as the winner. Hera offered him power and riches. Athena promised him victory in battle. And Aphrodite, well, she offered him the most beautiful woman in the world. Now, if you're a red-blooded male like Paris, you're not gonna pass up an offer like that. So he chose Aphrodite as the winner and was rewarded with the love of Helen of Sparta, who just happened to be married to King Menelaus. Oops. Long story short, Paris and Helen ran off together to Troy, which did not go over well with Menelaus. He got his brother Agamemnon to gather an army of Greek warriors and sail to Troy to get Helen back. And that, my friends, is how the Trojan War started. But here's where things get a little fuzzy. See, there are a lot of different versions of the story, and nobody's really sure which one is true. Some say the Greeks laid siege to Troy for 10 years, while others say it was only a few months. Some say there was a giant wooden horse involved, while others say that's just a myth. Some even say the whole thing never happened at all. So what can we say for sure about the Trojan War? Well, we know that it was a big deal in ancient times. Homer wrote about it in his epic poem, The Iliad, and it's been the subject of countless books, movies, and TV shows ever since. It's also inspired some pretty cool art, like the famous statue of the dying Trojan warrior that's in the British Museum. But beyond that, there's still a lot we don't know. For example, we're not entirely sure where Troy was located. Some scholars think it was in modern-day Turkey, while others think it was in Greece. And even if we do find the site of ancient Troy, there's no guarantee we'll find any concrete evidence of the war itself. So why are we still so fascinated by the Trojan War, even after all these years? I think it's because it's a story that's all about human nature. It's about love, betrayal, and the lengths we'll go to for the people we care about. It's also about the dangers of pride and the consequences of our actions. And maybe, just maybe, that's why the Trojan War still resonates with us today. Because even though we may have different weapons and different technology than the ancient Greeks and Trojans, we're still grappling with the same big questions about life and love and the nature of humanity. And that's pretty cool, if you ask me. So there you have the mystery of the Trojan War, explored and explained, sort of, by yours truly. I hope you've enjoyed this little journey through ancient history, and if you want to learn more about the Trojan War, I highly recommend checking out some of the many books, movies, and TV shows on the subject. Who knows, maybe you'll even uncover a new piece of the puzzle that helps solve this ancient mystery once and for all. Now, I want to hear from you. What do you think about the Trojan War? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to Curiosity Caboodle for more fascinating and entertaining content. Until next time, keep exploring the curiosities of our world. Thanks for watching, and stay curious.